So the Eucharistic Congress is a wonderful expression of the unity of all the faithful of the Diocese of Charlotte. Which is one of the great things about having a seminary here in the Diocese of Charlotte is that young men who are discerning the priesthood can actually come and experience what it is to live as a seminarian for a day. So I go up and I knock on the seminary door and it opens and the, the guest master for the year opens the door and lets me in. And the minute I walked in the door, the sense of peace hit me like a train. Knowing that the people of the diocese are willing to support us through the DSA is something that's very humbling. One day we'll be good, holy, well-formed priests. At Catholic Charities Diocese of Charlotte, the Transition Out of Poverty, or TOP program, helps people like Crystal. I had just left college because I knew that I had um, mental health problems that I really needed to focus on, but the, the question was kind of how. Um, and I took a few wrong turns and became pregnant. The top program first assisted her with food and housing. Then, a team of counselors stepped in. Um, the TOPS program um, kind of looked at me and said, yeah, this is what we're here for. Um, and so Don um, and a bunch of other counselors kind of got together and um, really helped develop me, I would say, into adulting. That adulting now includes a full-time job in the blood services industry. Crystal chose to give up her child in an open adoption. Two-year-old Maddox is the object of the love of his adoptive mother and his birth mother. Before having my son, I would have never imagined um, community support like this. Um, I didn't have that mindset. No, the community is, that's what they're there for, to kind of rely on. And, um, and if you put yourself in that community, then they're going to they're gonna help raise you up and you can help raise other people up. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the theme of this year's Diocesan Support Appeal, Our Faith in Action, describes what faithful Catholics do on a daily basis. We heed the call of Jesus to turn our prayer into action in the form of ministry. We have seen our faith in action in our seminaries that support the men who are discerning God's call to the Holy Priesthood. We see it in the social services of Catholic Charities Diocese of Charlotte. Educational programs catechize school-aged children and adults. The Eucharistic Congress brings together thousands to celebrate our faith in the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. Thank you for your past prayers and financial support of the 50 ministries and programs of the DSA. In considering your gift, it is important to remember that the DSA supports work that no individual or parish can do alone. This year in our diocese, we celebrate a year of St. Joseph, the patron and protector of the Universal Church. With St. Joseph and the Blessed Mother, let us offer our prayers and our actions to the glory of God. May God continue to bless each and every one of you.